High paying clients want something that looks expensive. They want to stand apart. And liquid glass fits in perfectly. Once you master this type of editing, you can charge whatever the f you want. I'm going to start by showing you how to set up the liquid glass effect in DaVinci Resolve so you can basically make whatever shape you want. And then we'll dive deeper into making a more specific animation and incorporating lots of effects. And thanks to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. And by the way, I read all the comments, so if there's something you guys want to learn, leave it down below. Alright, so here we are in the Fusion tab. I'm going to start by dragging a background node on and connect it to this media out. I'm going to turn the alpha all the way down, and then I'm going to add in a merge node, just like this. Now you can drag in whatever kind of background you want. I have a picture here of the desert. And so I'm going to connect that to the merge node. Now I'm going to select this merge node and hit shift space, add in another merge node. And then I'm going to add in this displace node just like this and then connect it to the green output of this merge. Now I'm going to click away and click this box for the rectangle node. And we're going to connect this to the green output of the displace node. Now I'm going to select this white box on merge one and connect it to the yellow output. And this blue output on merge two goes to the rectangle. Now we have everything set up. So this rectangle node controls the shape of the liquid glass. So we can turn the corner radius all the way up. And then I'm going to turn the width down a little bit and the height down. Now, if we click the displace node, we can come to the offset and set it to minus one and then refraction strength to minus four. And now you'll see if we turn the spread up, we begin to get our liquid glass. And then you can also play with the light power for more light or less light, and then the light angle. So the sun's coming from this way, so I'm gonna set the angle of the light to kind of be right around here. So again, this is just a normal rectangle node, so we can animate this to do whatever we want now. So if we go to the first frame, we can bring the width all the way down like this, so it starts as a ball. We can keyframe it, go over eight frames, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stretch it out like this, go over six frames, one, two, three, four, five, six, stretch it back down, and then go over four frames, one, two, three, four, kind of stretch it out like that. Now if we play that back, it's kind of bouncing in and out. So now we can add another element to this if we want, so we can drag this media out past here. I'm gonna copy all of this, press Command Copy, click over here, and press Command Paste. Now holding down Shift, we can drag it onto here, but as you can see, this one's not connected, so we have to hold down shift, and now that's connected. We can delete this background because it's already there, but just make sure that this merge output is connected to the yellow. If we select the rectangle, I'm gonna reset everything, corner radius all the way up, and I'm gonna make this the shape of a circle kind of, so, and something like that. So I'm gonna select the displace node, and I'm going to turn down the spread, just like this. And I'm also going to click away, hit shift space, and add in a blur node just like that now i'm going to drag this in holding down shift and connect it between these two so the merge one and displace and now we can control the blurriness of this circle here so i'm going to go just kind of a slight slight blur something like that now you're probably thinking this is a lot of work for one simple animation well you're not wrong and that's why i leverage storyblocks whenever i can when there's assets like this that you can literally drag and drop this is a must have for me and it saves me an insane amount of time with storyblocks i get unlimited downloads of high quality video motion graphics templates music sound effects and images all for one simple subscription price no extra hidden fees this isn't just random junk that no one uses everything comes from real artists with new content always being added and that means I can actually find assets that feel custom and modern like liquid glass. You can get two extra months free when you sign up for an annual plan. Go to storyblocks.com slash zanehoyer to take advantage of this limited time offer. And so now if we select this rectangle, as you can see, if we use the center X positions, we can uh, move it back and forth. And from here, we can select the merge, hit shift space, add in another merge. And here we can connect an icon if you want. So it's sunny out, so we'll connect the sun first, just like this. And then we'll hit shift space and add in a transform so we can control the sun. And we'll just place it right here. We can hit the merge and hit shift space, add in another merge. And we can connect an icon of a moon, just something like that. And then size this down and then slide it over. So now something cool we can do is we can animate this circle. Uh, coming over to the night and then we can flip this background to night We can go to any AI image generator and ask it to make us a 16 by 9 image exactly like this image But it's nighttime. So as you can see here's our nighttime image I'm going to download this and then behind our background node I'm gonna hit shift space and add in another merge here 
and I'm gonna connect that new image to that merge node, just like this. And so now, if we add in a background node to our original background, just like this, and turn down the alpha, we have our image, but obviously we have to scale this up. So I'm gonna hit shift space, add in a transform node, and size this up. So now, when we turn down the alpha, it turns to nighttime like this, and it looks super cool. So I'm gonna turn that back up for a second, and first we're gonna animate these coming in. So on the first frame, we're going to come to our second liquid glass right here, and I'm gonna turn the height all the way down. And I'm gonna go over two frames, one, two, and I'm gonna keyframe it. And then I'm gonna go over eight frames, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bring the height up like this, one, two, three, four, five, six frames, bring it down, and then four frames, one, two, three, four. And so now if I scroll through slowly, we have something that looks like that. Now we can quickly do the same with these others. Now we have something that looks like this. Perfect. So after a second or two, we want this uh, dial to go to the moon. So, so I'd say about frame 30, that's one second in. And so now we can select the rectangle and we're gonna keyframe the center X and Y position, this one. Maybe we'll go 20 frames over. So it's a nice slow transition. We'll just drag this over like that. So now if we look, this is rectangle one underscore one. So if we go to our spline, and turn on rectangle one underscore one and turn off the height we can see that this is our animation so now we can just select these and press s so now it looks like this and goes over to that side and as it's sliding over we want the background to change to night so we can go over to our background node here as it starts sliding i'm going to keyframe the alpha so right about here i'm going to keyframe the alpha and then go over as many frames until it gets to the moon fully. And I'm gonna drag the alpha all the way down like this. So now we have something that looks like this. So now you guys know the basics of liquid glass. If you guys like this style of editing and you want a more in-depth tutorial, just let me know in the comments and I'll make a masterclass on it.